What's up guys? Hey, uh, today we're going to change gears a little bit. I was recently asked a question from one of the followers of the website, the strictlystrengthproject.com, and uh, basically dealing with um, as we get stronger, as we get bigger, you know, what? how do we work around uh, clothes fitting differently, and specifically talking about jeans, right? Uh, we do tons of deadlifts, we do tons of squats, we do band walks every day, and uh, as a byproduct of all that stuff, your legs, your butt, all that stuff's going to get bigger, and hopefully the waist gets a little bit smaller. So that tends to uh, present some difficulties when shopping, and uh, actually I just went through this, I spent the last probably four weeks trying to find some jeans that fit for a trip that I'm going to take uh, actually starting tomorrow. So um, this this is an off-topic kind of thing that uh, doesn't really get discussed all that much, especially for me. Uh, I don't have much fashion sense. I pretty much wear workout clothes, and uh, when I do have to get dressed up, it's dark jeans and a black shirt. So, um, you know, take this for what it's worth. Um, I have the same issues. My waist is about 30 inches, if that, maybe 29, something like that. But uh, in relation to that, I've got a huge ass and uh, pretty thick thighs and hamstrings. So when I'm shopping uh, for clothes, it, it presents some difficulties as far as finding some jeans that fit. And I wanted to offer uh, any assistance that I can uh, coming from the background of somebody that's been there but uh, doesn't really go over and beyond uh, in the fashion world. So real quick, um, the best brand that I found in my four week search uh, was Lucky Brand Jeans. Um, I've got a couple different styles I guess. There's a 181 relaxed straight fit and uh, the one thing that's really cool about the Lucky Brand is that it's a softer denim, so it actually offers a little bit of stretch. Whereas if you go with the um, stiffer denims, obviously that's not going to give at all and uh, obviously give some sort of restriction as far as movement goes. Um, so that's one pair. And then the other pair I got, again, it's Lucky, but it's a 363, uh, let's see, uh, vintage straight. And... Um, you know, Lucky tends to be a little bit more expensive, but, um, you know, I bought three pairs of jeans. That's going to last me at least a year, so the way I look at it is buy something that's comfortable, that looks good, that feels good, and, um, you know, spend the money to get what you need rather than, um, you know, settling for something that's going to be super uncomfortable and probably look a little goofy. So, um, those are the jeans that I found to work the best for me. Um, now, that's not to say that I'm a huge guy. I just have different proportions uh, in relation to most Americans. And anybody that does a load of squats, deadlifts, band walks, you know, and works out at a relatively high intensity, most likely has the same issues. Um, I'm definitely not a bodybuilder type proportion. And uh, I can't even imagine trying to shop with, you know, 40 inch thighs and all that shit. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a real issue when you start weight training. And so I wanted to help you guys out any way I could. And, uh, you know, the Lucky brand off offers a really good gene for um, that type of situation. Now, again, they are a little bit more expensive if that's out of your budget. I know that uh, you could go to, I think it's it's, uh, it's like one of the hand-me-down stores, um, uh, Plato's, Plato's Closet I think is one option, and then the other option is probably like a uh, Nordstrom's Rack, where you know there's still good quality stuff there, but it's at a discounted rate, and you can still get some stuff that will fit and look good. So um, again, just some stuff that doesn't get talked out, talked about very often, but uh, offers a, a real life situation that, uh, you know, I wanted to help you guys out with and uh, give you any advice I can 
or any information I can. And uh, as I've gone through it, that's what I've found to work the best. So hopefully that helps you guys. If not, um, if you want to post comments as far as what uh, genes you felt or you found that work well for you, uh, feel free. Love to have more comments on every post. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking, uh, any, any other topics that come to mind, and uh, we'll stay on top of it. All right, guys. Peace.